Alan Smith, Scottish National Party MEP. In a nutshell, what does today's vote mean for farmers? Well, common sense has broken out over electronic identification of cows. Now, uh, electronic identification in itself should cut down on bureaucracy, should cut down on paperwork, so good, that's to be welcomed. But the key point here is we mustn't make it mandatory until we know the systems work. So let's introduce it gradually, let's introduce it, and as soon as one farmer realises that there's a cost benefit, everybody else will pile in and then the system resolves itself. So we've got a sensible decision today, there's no time pressure, there's no gun to anyone's head, but this is an, a, a door that's now been opened and that's good news for the industry. And is that a door that farmers are going to want to go through? I know in the sheep sector there's been a huge amount of concern and problems over EID there. Will there be any cattle farmers who actually want to introduce this on a voluntary basis? It's a completely different issue and logically, if we were able to think logically sometimes, we would have started with bovine EID where the value of the beast is that much bigger relative to the hassle factor of tagging them. Uh, we've seen various problems and we've fought them left, right and centre about uh, sheep EID and goat EID. The systems don't work there because we've got a different flock management system, but the herd management systems it's already all individually identified. The farmers are actually looking at this as a way of cutting bureaucracy, cutting costs and improving traceability. So that's good news for the consumer, good news for the farmers, good news for the sector.